What's going on guys? Got another little review coming at you. This week we're going to review the Bomber Balsa Model B uh, shallow diving square bill crankbaits. Uh, as you can see I got four of them. Um, I've had them for a little while now and, and I, have a, I have had a chance to fish with them. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, so like I said we got four new crankbaits here. Let's go ahead and get the dimensions out of the way. They are two and a half inches in length, half ounce in weight. They have number two size TX, 3X caliber hooks and have a cranking depth of zero to three feet. First crankbait I have here is the black chartreuse. Let's just make sure that's correct. Yes, black chartreuse. Second one, root beer chartreuse. Root beer chartreuse has got this orange belly with this brown back. It looks a lot darker on the, on the camera than it actually is. It's much, much lighter than that. Let me see if I can get a better look at it. Yeah, it's, there we go. That's a little bit better. Anyway, next one is Pearl Black Orange Belly. Like the other one, it's got the orange belly, black back, just like in the name. Last but not least is Pearl Shad. Pearl Shad's got that green back with the pearl belly. So uh, these crankbaits have what balls or excuse me, what Bomber's calling is the polycarbonate true track frame, true track polycarbonate frame. Excuse me. And I guess what that what that is is it's just supposed to help it be a little bit more balanced in the water. Um, instead of having this uh, this bill just uh, glued into the bait. It actually uh, is connected to a piece of polycarbonate plastic that's inside of it that is running like it's sliced right down the middle this way. And so, I, like I said, I guess that's for balance. I, I don't really know. But the, um, I noticed that the bills are really thick, which they should be on a balsa, uh, or excuse me, on a scoreboard crank crankbait because of the fact that you're going to be running them through a lot of heavy cover. So they should be pretty thick and robust looking, which they are on this one. So I picked these guys up. They have a, they have the uh, really nice vibrant colors and the really thick clear coat on them. So when I got them in the mail, I was very surprised to, to actually see this. They, I knew that they had the vibrant colors, but I wasn't sure about the actual clear coat, but they do have a very thick clear coat. So if that's something that you're worried about with baits and picking up baits that don't have uh, good paint jobs or they chip a lot in your tackle box, pick these guys up. They have very, very thick uh, uh, clear coat jobs on them. I've had them in my tackle box for a few months now and they still look like brand new. So, and I fish with them quite a bit. So um, let's go ahead and fill the tape measure on these guys. They're saying two and a half inches. So yeah, right at two and a half inches. If you were to measure the whole thing, it'd be right at three inches with the bill. So there they are, guys. Um, squirrel bow crankbaits it seems to be a really hot technique these days. Um, so pick these guys up. They don't get a whole lot of play out there because of the KVDs in the world and the Rapala DT fats of, of the world. but. These are a discontinued bait nowadays. They were about 10 bucks a piece. I think now you can find them. If you find them, they're like three bucks. They're real cheap. That's what I picked them up for. So real, real cheap. Um, I don't think you can beat them, uh, any crankbait for three bucks. So there they are. Check them out, guys. Um, oh, I also wanted to add that when you're cranking these guys down in the water, because I have used these, they have uh, a zero to three foot cranking depth. They crank at a, at a moderate rate, more like just under a foot, just a few inches underwater. Um, so if, you're, if you want a slow roll, a square boat crankbait through the water, 
these are going to act more like a wake bait in my opinion um, just because they it seems like it takes a lot of effort to get them down to that three foot range um, which means that to me you had to crank them fairly fast to get them down to that three foot range and I'm not using uh, monofilament I'm using fluorocarbon line too so um, so just be aware of that anyway thanks for watching guys